Cellular networks were built for voice calls. And then the only important thing is whether you're covered or not. But today we're using the cellular networks mainly for data transmission. And then it's not enough to have coverage, but also to have a strong signal so you get a high data speed. And in previous evolutions of the cellular networks, we have been focusing a lot on bringing up the peak data speeds, what you get in the best conditions. So today they are fairly high, However, it is the consistency that is the problem. If the service is working part of the time and not part of the time, then it will not be good enough. Cellular technology builds on the principle of having high power antennas to put in masts and they are serving all the surrounding users. These users will be at different distances and therefore get different data speeds. I want to turn this around and in my research we have been looking at how you can create cell-free networks where you have users that are surrounded by antennas instead of having antennas surrounded by users. And all these surrounding antennas is going to intelligently serve you so that you get the consistent service quality everywhere. One potential way of implementing a cell-free network is to make use of this concept of radio stripes, which are antennas and radios and all the cabling and everything that is needed in the base station, but they are in the form factor of a cable. And just as people are not noticing all the cables that are on the walls around them, by covering all the world with cables like this, you can get a consistent service quality everywhere. And the 5G standard is actually already supporting cell-free networks, at least the main principle of it. What really remains is the engineering effort into shrinking a base station down to the size of a stripe like this and to implement a large network in a scalable manner. I believe that over the next few decades we will see how the virtual and the physical world becomes intertwined using things like augmented and virtual reality, both in our social lives and when we are working. And people will have expectations on the wireless access to be as available or reliable as the electricity grid, which put a lot of effort into the people who are building these future networks. And wireless access will also become a human right and we need to make sure that also the developing parts of the world will have very good access to it.